Hey, welcome to Cosmic Tides. We're going to see how the cosmic currents are pulling for Libra. This is going to be your middle to the ending of February spread. Links for my Spotify, Apple Music, and SoundCloud will be down below, as well as my email for $20 personal readings. Due to a high volume of requests, I need at least 2-3 days to get them done after transactions, so I appreciate you for your patience. Also, go check out my spiritual store on Etsy. Link is going to be down below. And make sure to go check out my new Instagram. I pull daily tarot cards. I share channeled messages, spells, talk about energy shifts, and I share updates on my YouTube channel and Etsy store. So if you guys are interested in all that, you can go follow me at CosmicTides underscore, and that information is going to be down below. And before we begin, just keep in mind that these energies can be interchangeable, so feel free to switch around the characters if you need to as we go along. Okay, so I see someone wants to resurrect a situation. They want a new beginning with you, but this person is scared. This person is scared to take this leap of faith towards you because they feel like they'll jump right into your sword. And I see this person is juggling back and forth if they should send you a message or not, if they should reach out. This definitely could be like online. So they're thinking about sliding in your DMs. And I see this person is trying to use their intuition because they don't know how you'll react. Okay, they don't know how you're going to react. I'm seeing this also like the angel and devil on this person's shoulder. Okay, so this person's like kind of confused. I definitely see this person be watching a lot of tarot readers trying to get clarity in this situation. Okay, because this person wants to have a new beginning with you. This person wants to give you a solid offer of commitment here. But I see this person is hiding this. For some of you, this definitely could be someone different than who you're thinking of. Okay, just because I'm seeing it's like this person's waiting for divine right timing to tell you how they feel, to offer you this commitment, to send you this message for a new beginning. Okay, because they want things to work out perfectly here. So I definitely see this person could be like either getting like a personal reading or just looking at a lot of different tarot readers online. Like I said, because they're not really sure what to do. I definitely see this person is kind of like waiting to emerge out of the darkness. They're waiting, they're waiting for the perfect timing so this can come out to light. Okay, like I said, they want things to work out perfectly with you. They want this new beginning with you. They want to offer you this solid offer of commitment, but they want you to be accepting of the offer. This person doesn't want to get rejected. They want you guys to move forward into new territory together. They want this connection to transform. Okay, so they want you to be more than friends. They want to heal this connection with you, so this definitely could be someone like that you haven't talked to in a while, I'm seeing. Because I'm just seeing it's like they want to heal this connection with you. For some of you, it's like you could have been friends with this person and then like had a falling out. But I see it's like this person had hidden feelings for you. Okay, so I see this person wants to heal this connection. They want to return to you. There definitely could have been like a falling out. It's like I just see it's like this person's had hidden feelings for you for a long time, I'm seeing. Like I said, they're waiting for the right time to tell you this, to come forward, because they, they want things to work out perfect. They don't want to be rejected. They want to go into a new chapter with you. They want to transform this connection. They want you guys to be more than friends. They want you guys to heal this connection, and, and they want both of you guys to move forward so you can look to the future with hope and optimism. And I see it's like this person's been hit with Cupid's arrow. And I see this person is feeling like they missed their chance with you. I just heard I should have told you years ago. So this could be somebody that you were friends with like years ago, I'm seeing. Definitely could have been somebody from like maybe when you were younger, I'm seeing. Like middle school or high school or something like that. Or college for some of you. Just because I'm seeing it's like this person's watching you transform and grow up. Okay, so this person... Um, like I said, they want to come back together and heal this connection and they want to be together with you They want both of you to move forward and it's like they want to tell you how they truly feel It's like this person is regretting not telling you in the past how they felt And I see it's like this is like taking a lot of their attention. It's like this person can only think about this I see them trapped in their head here And I see this person is also trapped in their head because they're imagining you with other people and it's driving them nuts here and they're just waiting for the perfect time to tell you how they feel. I just see it's like they want to make a good investment of their time and their energy and their emotions. And they feel like you are. And they're still trying to hold on to you. I definitely see this person is almost sending you a message here. It's like they're almost ready. But it's like then they stop. I see this person definitely like looking at your social media. And I see this person could be like jerking off to your pictures on social media. Um, so just a heads up. Um, but this person does feel like you're a good investment. This person, like I said, it's like they got hit by Cupid's arrow here. They want things to work out perfectly. 
and this person is scared you're gonna be defensive that you're not gonna be accepting to them they're scared that you're gonna stab them with your sword so definitely there could have been like a falling out between you guys I'm seeing okay because it's over here too it's like this person wants to come towards you but they feel like they're gonna get stabbed so this definitely could have been someone you had a falling out with like I said, it's like they want to hold on to you. It's like they're almost going to send you this message. They're almost going to hit send. And then, like I said, they don't because they feel like you're going to be defensive. They feel like you're going to stab them with your sword. And this person also feels like, again, it's like they're imagining you with other people, okay? So this person feels like you have competition around you. But in reality, you're just minding your own business, just trying to take care of yourself and your well-being and your coins. I see it's like this person is kind of like doing this to themselves. This is almost like a mental torture. I just see it's like this person is kind of like zoning themselves out here. Again, it's like they're about to message you and then it's like their shadow side talks them out of it because they feel like um, you're going to be defensive, like you're going to poke them with your sword, like there's going to be a conflict or a fight. But in reality, I see it's like you're chilling. You're just trying to focus on yourself. So this person is kind of like imagining this all in their head here. Okay, um, so that's basically what I got for you guys. Yeah, it's like the devil and angel on their shoulder. It's just really psyching out this person. Okay, so some signs that popped up in here. I see Scorpio, Pisces, Gemini, Libra, Libra, Gemini, Taurus, Pisces, Leo, Aquarius, Okay, so that's what I got for you guys. Make sure you check your chart. Whoever you're connecting with, go check out their chart too. Also, go check out my spiritual store on Etsy. Link is going to be down below. And make sure to go listen to my music on all major platforms and SoundCloud. And also go check out my Instagram at CosmicTides underscore. I pull daily tarot cards, channeled messages, all that good stuff. And thanks so much to everyone who participated in the giveaway. Shout out to the Cosmic Coven for all your love and support and for making this possible. Keep being great and I'll see you next week. Bye!